Good morning and welcome to Utopia. Um, looks beautiful today, sounds beautiful with all the birds. If you can hear them over my crunching boots. But boy, she's a brutally cold one today. Uh, hopefully the lambs made out okay overnight with those cold temperatures. So we'll step inside the barn and see how they're all doing. Okay, this is the first morning. It's been actually quiet uh, in the morning. Nobody is lambing and no one lambed last night, which is good because it's extremely cold today. Um, we do have someone who's obviously choosing this spot again for her lambing. We've had a few had their lambs in in the crowding chute. Is that a really cool spot? It is, I know. It's a really private spot. Okay, so we're uh, letting a whole bunch of sheep out today because the sooner they're out of the jugs, the better they tend to do. Uh, there's always exceptions to every rule, but Belle here, uh, she uh, she's the one with the big udder and the big nipples, but we're pretty positive her lambs have figured it out. But uh, just to watch her for a little while in the groups, we're going to toss her with the triplets that we just let out in the misfit group. Just so I can watch them for a little while. This misfit group actually is going to go to the coverall very soon. Quite a few people have been asking about uh, why we take the tails off because I know a lot of countries don't and it's not really necessary. But this is the main reason we do it. Uh, Belle didn't have her tail taken off because as a lamb she was sick and we thought we wouldn't put her through it and she ended up being a good you for us. But you can see she's just had lambs. And so her tail is long and dirty, and that, if it were summer, that could get infected. It's winter now, but it's uh, it's mainly just for a sanitary for sanitary reasons. Um, we clip them off so that they don't get infected, and we don't uh, chop them off with a knife either. We uh, we use a an elastic band at two days old. And within a few weeks, the tail will drop off. And uh, the, the lambs show no visible pain when it happens. You can see these guys. They've got uh, bands on their tail. Hi, sweetie. Can we see your band? She's got a little elastic band on. And you can see already uh, that the bottom of the tail is getting smaller. And it will eventually just drop off and she'll have a little, what I call a little rabbit tail. Hi guys. So Belle's having her hoofs trimmed and she's been dewormed too, as is our routine. And they'll be happy to get out in the group and running around. They get a little comfortable in these pens and just lay around. But when oh, she's going over Arnie, help her, Arnie. Now her let her head stuck. No wobble, but they can't fall down. Oh, Bell, Bell, Arnie's so terrible. Hi, Belly. Oh, can you do any more damage? I told I told you they were gonna fall. Come on, really? She's she loves her lambs. Okay. She's just gonna walk her. There we go. Just put her right in there. She doesn't need she doesn't need a way she doesn't need a waiting pen. She's gonna she's gonna go. Move out of the way. Come on, Bell Bell. Oh, she likes the lambs. She loves the lambs. Well, the, tripl the triplets went in the misfit pen today, too. Fiona's turn. Oh, Fiona, she's a big girl. She's a sheep when she was a lamb we showed her. 
And she's got a really big lamb here. Is he a bigger lamb? The dewormer we use at this stage is Ivomec. They say you're not supposed to use the white ones when they have lambs or are pregnant. So we just use Ivomec. Uh -huh. Try flip that big girl. She's one of our big ewes. Has, Fiona, has Fiona's ewes. Come on. <laughs> this is why I don't trim hooves. These sheep are too big. Fiona, well, Fiona, the other show, um, Fantasia, did better than Fiona, but she still did good. See, that's why she could have a big, uh, a big lamb the way she did. One of the 20 pounders from her, because she has an extremely wide rump. Um, a well-built ewe with a wide rump is going to be able to deliver these big lambs. Where's she going? In there? Yeah, she's going to go in there. Oh, it's okay, sweetheart. It's open. There you go. Buddy, she's gone. <laughs> oh no. Help him. Now, now Delilah's coming out. There. That, that's your mom. See, one thing about Suffolk is they tend to, when you release them, go straight to the trough. Or when you're offloading them, when we bring them to the coverall. They they go tearing right off the trailer, whereas Dorsets tend to hang around with their lambs, start screaming and fretting over the lambs. So they're more motherly that way. But I do find for nursing uh, lambs and growing lambs, the Suffolk lambs are better. Don't you find that? Yes, I do, honey. I agree with everything you say. No, you don't, Arnie. Only on camera. That's why I use the camera, because that's the only time I can get him to agree with me on anything. Okay, so this girl, she had the humdinger dorset. She was the exception to the rule. He's a single, and she pushed him out all by herself, too, because she's built correctly. And that's what we try to stress with, uh, with lambs. you got to have those ewes built correctly, and then they can deliver anything. Uh, if you say that the ram is uh, too big for the ewe to deliver, probably there's a problem with your ewe. Yeah, he's a beautiful, uh, beautiful ram. And, uh, but I think she's feeling a little sore. She's obviously nursing him. He's in great shape. But uh, she's acting a little quiet. So we're going to get her out of here and get her stimulated. Do you want me to go get some glycol or no? I think she'll do better than the Oh, you're such a beauty. You're a beauty. You're, you're, you're going to compete with the suffix. You're. You're going to be the dorset that beats the suffix. She's actually a door, though. She's not a pure dorset, but this lamb will be... She's probably three-quarter Dorset. So this ram is going to be what, what goes next, 15th, 16th Dorset. So, um, yeah, he's just got a little little cross in him, which is a cross that people tend to like because uh, the Rito adds the prolificacy and will up your lambing ratio. And Dorsets add a little more wheat meat. But both Dorsets and Ritos are accelerated lammers, meaning that they can have three crops of lamb in two years if you choose to do so. Follow your mama. Come on, follow your mom. Oh, there we go. <laughs>
There goes Buddy. These guys will sit in the holding pen for a little while. Feeding time in the new coverall with the ram lambs and the ewes. See the sheep, the sheep when they're this age, they, they actually love these cold temperatures. Everyone's all excited in these barns. And today uh, the four little pet rams are leaving. Someone's coming to pick them up. There's 44. And there's the other 44. Pretty excited. Are you just walking back and forth on purpose? Are you just walking back and forth on purpose? All frosty backs. down to almost minus 30 last night so we're a little concerned about the new lambs in the coverall these are the newest ones and everybody's running around having a good time in this pen and over here I see a bunch running around What number is that one? This is the Suffolk pen. This will be the second Suffolk pen that we're starting up. And when the ewes are eating, that's when we can best look and assess the lambs. See if anyone's under the feeder, if anyone's dead, if anyone's looking hungry. Hi, guys. Hello. You look good. You look good. And they're all in the creep pen. Except we got someone getting some milk there while Mom's sitting still. We got two trying to two trying to nurse off the same mom. Oh, there we go. And these guys are eating already. Yeah, a little bit of creep in here, not too much, just a little, so that they get used to eating creep feed. But there's a lot in here. Hi guys. Ben, don't go in there. Ben, stay out of the creep pen. Now we're in the Dorset pen. And there's the mom who adopted Wally and her sister. And Wally just jumped up on the box. So uh, she's staying with them. That worked out well. And, uh, hi. You guys look really nice. Gotta do a quick scan to make sure everybody's okay. Got a lot of action going on. Someone's tail is falling off. I see and it's bleeding a bit. That doesn't normally happen. I'm gonna go wake up some of these lambs to make sure they're okay. It's all the lambs by the salt mineral feeder. Oh, 
Jerry, Jerry, how you doing, buddy? Hi, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, how you doing, bud? Hi, guys. Oh, you have no creep feed. In the beginning, when we put out the creep feed, because the lambs are little, we put a little stepping box so that they can stand up on there and reach it, the little ones. Oh, that's Wally and her sister on the box. But you see, yeah, uh, that's what, oh, look at that little, that's, and that's the adopted one. That's the adopted quad that's uh, hopping around the pen. Someone trying to bully it. Yeah, and they don't usually bleed like that. I don't know why that one would bleed. Oh, there goes Wally. Oh, and she called in her adopted lamb. Well, that's the adopted one. The, the real one, oh, the real one's right here. This is nice. That's a nice ram, that number nine. We've got to find the mother because it's a little bit confusing. Yeah. Hi, buddies. So we've got uh, the truck pulling in who are going to get uh, the little pet lambs here. You're going to a pet farm, sweetheart. You're going to love it. I love it when they go to homes. <laughs> And look at the fancy truck it comes in, too. <laughs> That's a sheep show. <laughs> when you want to catch them, it's crazy. Four little ram lambs going to a pet home. Well, it's night time now, and uh, got a lot done today. Just a little stuff catching up. Uh, nobody lambed all day. But, of course, it's when we want to go to bed, and now they're lambing. So, that's the joy of sheep farming. Um, we just delivered one, and there's uh, one more lambing right now. And uh, everybody in, is in the jugs, in the group pens, and they're looking really good. We've got this one waiting to go in. Well, we're still waiting for that Utah lamb, so we've come back to the house for a little break. But uh, we're going to call it a night. And... I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye for now.